Yeah. Okay, good morning. So we, we, we need to make a quick start because this thing consumes uh, time. Where are your friends? Did I tell you to come on time? It's, it's quite lengthy, this thing. <clears throat> okay, so um, today we are going to do um, seat testing. Um, that would be your practical on the week five. Seek viability, right? There are two activities that we need to do today. The first activity is a bit time consuming because you need to see the color development of the seat testing, the tetrazolium test. So um, I'm going to explain what to be done very quickly and then you do it and then you leave it for the incubation for one hour and 15 minutes and then you come back to your seat then i will explain for the second activity which is the next page exercise two germination test using the sand media and also paper towel all right <clears throat> Okay, so if you if you refer to the um, your your folder, there is a new subfolder in that called lab materials, and also um, the images have been posted on the Skype. A standard for TZ testing essay. Okay, so you can you can open on the Skype and and refer to that. So basically. Um, TZ is a rapid testing to see the viability of the test, whether the, the seeds are alive or otherwise. Okay, the seeds can be dormant, but it does not mean that they are dead. They just being a sleeping beauty in the storage container for quite some time. So we use this test to ass assess the viability of the seeds. Okay, right. We are going to be dealing with two seeds today, the endospermous and non-endospermous seeds. Okay, so we got the um, corn seeds and also we got the long bean seeds. Okay, if you look at the image for the standard TZ testing assay image, you, you can see that ahead of time, prior to the testing, you need to rehydrate the seeds. So the seeds come from the package, it is dry, you need to rehydrate that. So what, what can be done is simply by soaking the seeds. That's why we are soaking the seeds. You need to rehydrate the seed to activate the enzymes responsible for cellular respiration. Okay, Through the action of seed imbibition. seed in the patient to reactivate the seed seeds respiration okay and secondly uh um you're going to leave it for for a while and then you can prepare it for staining right so after after they are ready, then you can refer to this manual. Okay, this has been done for you uh, uh, ahead of time. So for both of the seeds, you need to obtain some amount of seeds and seeds for two replications, meaning that in total you need 20 seeds. Okay, cut the grains in half longitudinal. Okay, so if you this is the 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 bod bodily plane of the seeds. If this is your seed, if you cut it this way, this is called longitudinal section. If you cut it this way, this is called transverse section. Or sometimes we call it a cross section. Okay, yeah, and then we're going to pour the tetrazolium um, solution into the petri dish. And then we're going to put the petri dish into the oven. Change that temperature. I change the temperature now because I think it's a bit low. 
into 37 degrees centigrade for one hour and 15 minutes okay and we do just leave it for uh to incubate once you're done quickly come back to your bench so that i can explain for the second um activity okay this second activity you just do it very quickly for 15 minutes and just leave it outside uh to, by the side come to see again next week it's a germination test all right okay for the bean um you need there's there's a, a bit of extra uh step you need to peel off the tester i think you don't have to peel it it's it's already uh expanded so it should should be should be should be fairly straightforward for the inhibition to take place and the rest of the steps is the same just like the corn seed okay so let's see what to be done can you bring over the the <coughs> Demonstration material. Me, I make the I make the You can come closer. <coughs> you know, some of the solution might cause damage to the shirt. You might want to wear your your laptop. My shirt is okay. This is carbon shirt. Where? Where's the shirt? Oh, petrol going? So we got the petrol dish. We got your blade. Okay. Um. Di guna yang tu terus aku. Ada faucet. Ambil faucet. The the floating seats. What the, what what does that mean? Is it viable or non-viable? So, be smart. Don't take that. Let's cut that. Okay, work in a group so that you can finish um, um, uh, very, very quickly, okay? So, this is, um, this is going to be a bit difficult to cut because it's still not um, uh, expanded. So let's say that I'm going to take this. You you can rinse it, okay? So I'll just I'll just do this. Why is it pink? Remember to wash your hand, okay? Why is it pink? Racha serangga. Siapa jangka racha serangga? What's the name of the fungi sign? What's the name of the fungi sign? Hiram. Okay, so rem look at the manual. It says to get a longitudinal section. See, this is your seat. When it's standing, it's on that position. Okay, cut it through from the top to the bottom, not from the left to the right. Don't do that. Take the blade. Please be very careful, okay? So line it to the side and then cut it. You need to, I think you need to give it a, a bit of motion. I think this thing is a bit blunt. Can you get a new one? Okay, that's not good. Why? Why do we cut it? The whole idea is you want to expose the embryo. So that's why I said you need to be able to draw the anatomy of the seed. So when you cut it open, you split open, you are exposing, this is the seed of the grass, which is endospermous seed. You need to be able to identify now where is the endosperm, where is the embryo, right? So put it back here. So you got one set and then do the same for the long bin. Can you see the micro pile here? The navel, the belly button? Yeah, cut through that. Please be very careful, okay? 
because I don't want to deal with cry, crying student in the morning. Right. So that is exposed. So that is a decent cut. Okay. Right. So once once you have um, everything in place, so one group, one petri dish. Okay. You can combine both of the seeds on the same petri dish. Then simply pour the tetrazodium test. This thing, please be away from the sunlight. It's very sensitive to the light. Give it a good shake. This is, you see the neck here? Don't do it this way. You're going to break the neck, like chicken neck. Okay, hold it like this and then open it. Then carefully pour it. You need to completely soak it, okay? Bit more then quickly close it then put it back into the fridge the green fridge yeah a little trick to make it even faster is to turn it upside down the moment you pour it you let it expose to the um, open air and then you pour pour the solution onto it the moment it's soaking flip it the whole idea to to let the living side of the cells to be exposed to the tetrazoleum. I'll explain the mechanism in a bit. Right. You got it. Label. And then let's put it in the oven. At what temperature? For how long? All right. So we incubate in the oven. Okay. Look at this oven. Do not put it on here. This is the heating plate. Don't do that. Use this rack, this rack, or this rack. Okay? Never ever put on the heating plate. Right. So when you're done, somebody do the timing for one hour and 50 minutes, then come back to your seat so that I can explain for the second uh, activity. Yeah, clear. Okay. Go. Do that. Go. Take all this stuff. Do that. <laughs> Please be careful with knife. Cukup ke semua? Sana ada? Okay, okay. Be in your group and take whatever you need uh, for, for your little experiment, okay? You should be able to finish this within 20 minutes. Then come back to your seats. All right? Ha ha ha. Okay, okay. Just take it up, put it up. Yeah, that's all. Me, are there extra petri dish? What? 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 You can, you can, maybe you can compare the one that has been soaked and the one which is not soaked. And then compare side by side. And then you can compare between the transverse section and the longitudinal section. See what happens. Apa gimak 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 gimak. Yeah. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, no. Sudah rendam. Jangan guna ni. Um. 
Yes, ini nanti tak ada result. Ya. Tapi kalau tak cukup, rendam aja lah. Cepat, cepat buat. Kau nak penyembang apa lagi? Ambil bang cepat. Whose manual is this? Why put on my table? Wait. <clears throat> I need to wash my hand. Kau tak boleh banyak sangat kot Kau nak saya satu je? Uh, mungkin satu group tiga je kot cukup hmm. um, Class, pay attention You don't need to do the 10 seats for replication um, I think you can just use three for each replication Yeah, yeah, just use three Because you need to see the pattern Okay Can you listen to the instruction? What did I say? Three what? Ah, uh, what? Cepat. Please do a decent cutting because you need to take picture after this. Go ketol, 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 ketol. Yeah, give it emotion. So, you know, my current is a bit like a soak. I mean, like a soak. I used to cut him from what? 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 Pasti, pasti. Pasti tu saya dah satu satu. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yang popian ni, semua ada. Saya dah tak semua. Okay, kasih tu lah. Kedua nak tengok dulu. Dia letak dalam kasih bag nanti. Ah, tray. Ah, tray, tray, tray. Sebab tahun lepas kita guna plastik bag. Plastik bag. Ah, bag. Letak dalam plastik. Dah gulung popian tu, letak plastik bag tutup. tuh. Dia try moisture. Sebab kalau tray nanti kena siram berkali kali. Tak ada, aku, aku tak tahu. Kalau dah ada tray, tray je lah. Okay. Tak apa, tray tu nanti uh, tutup ya, dengan uh, cling wrap. Kan? Uh, tutup dengan cling wrap. Ah, ya. Uh, Contohnya lah. Plastik, plastik, plastik tu ha. sebab sebab uh, supaya tak payah siram. Macam oh. buat one off je. Uh. Tak apa, dah ada tu. Okey lah tu. Hmm. Kita 
tak payah guna banyak tak apa ni guna 5 ni guna 5 untuk setiap jenis 5, ka 5 kacang panjang 5 jagung yang ni pun aku rasa boleh guna 5 je yang guna yang kering tu lah kan ha. kering tu cukup satu satu bekas tu cukup lah oh ha. oh lebih lah kacang sebab dia main guna juga tu <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no, no. You, uh, um, I have you all finish at the same time. Better all you you finish at the same time. Force other group to become faster like you. Bagus aku. Pasal semua group lagi yang cepat. So that we can live early. Ni yang minggu depan, yang minggu depan. Um, ini ha. kan sip moisture. Ya, yang ni lah yang hari Isnin ni. Ha, so aku buat kuliah sekejap satu jam. Lepas tu aku suruh dia orang datang sini lah kot. Aha. Untuk 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 apa ni? Untuk buat benda ni. Kau buat kuliah kat sini je. Guna projector. Ada pagi orang 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 guna tak pagi-pagi ke 8? Ada. Buat sini je. Jadi cepat sikit kan. Eh kat ya. Kan. Hmm. Sebab dia uh, orang daripada sebab dia orang punya kelas dekat BK6. Jom dekat kan tau. Oh. Kan lama nak datang sini. Aha. Jadi baik kita buat kelas kat sini terus. Aha. Aku cerita terus benda semua lepas satu jam habis kuliah terus buat benda ni. Jadi saya dekat barangan. Ah, ya, rasa dekat barang aje. Sedih kamar aje. Ah macam ni, projector Aha. jangan tembak ke sini. Tembak ke sini. Benda ni tarik ke sini lah kot tu tengah ni. Nanti doktor nak tulis. Eh, tak apa-apa. Aku tulis kat sini. Eh, aku boleh tulis dekat atas slide tau. Oh. Tembakkan projector tu ke board yang bergerak ni. Kan dia putih. Uh. <tuk> Jadi kau boleh control sikit. Dia punya nak besar, nak kecil. So, ni kan luar. Ni kan sempit. Kan dia tumpah sebentar. <tuk> uh, tembak ke sini. So, benda ni kau boleh tarik letak kat bahagian ni. Projector tu duduk kat sini. Dia tembak dia cantik lah. Jadi yang belah sini nampak, belah sini nampak. Saya tengah. Saya tengah, saya tengah, tengah, tengah. Ayah, saya tengah. tengah. <coughs> Tapi awal lah, pukul, lap, pukul 8 lah. Pukul 8 lah. Sebab kuliah mula pukul 8. Ah, Kamu okay. mula lambat, habis lambat pula nak nak buat benda ni. Walaupun sikit, ah, kita mulai cepat eh. Alright. Guru lain tak buat apa lagi benda ni Kenapa guru ni ada macam Dengan aku kan Forbidden lembab tu Remember what I said for the okra untuk buat uh, germination test? One of the benda yang boleh combine dengan generation test is benda ni PPTZ test Untuk tengok variability dia Respiration activity Nanti dia akan ada factor macam ni kan Factor ni boleh masuk dalam image je Untuk quantify color analysis Jadi dia tahu the intensity of the color Is it regression dia related tak dengan germination test Can you get a strong R correlation Ah lembab tak tahu Ha 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 Okay, if you're done, put it into the oven. Okay, and then set the timer. Wash your hand. Do not put your hand into your nose. 
Batal puasa boleh ganti. Batal nafas. Pasien ni sama dengan hari tu last week. Ya dah. Pasien ni pasien yang sama ke? Okay. Ya, pasien lain. Pasien lain. Pasien lain. Pasien lain. Tanam jagung pun, Phil. Apa pun, udah-udah. Okay. Ya, ni. That's actually a little trick Masa tuang, make it face Towards the solution Bila nak tuang, flip it Semua orang tak cerita ajar kan Tak ada forcep, bila nak forcep Okay, please wash your hand, okay Ambil tepuk tahu tu dengan ni nak demo. Eh, tak buka lagi. Tak buka. Oh ya, aku tahu. Dia tak ada pangkal dia. Okay. Okay. Are you done? Everybody done? How about those groups? Are you done? Okay. Okay. Let's see the second activity. So, the second activity on the other page, exercise 2, germination test. Test determines the percentage of normal seedlings that develop under ideal conditions. We are going to do two methods, namely the sand method and also the paper towel method, or I like to call it the spopia method, spring roll method. Right, okay, so the first one should be easy because you have done it last week, which is the same method. Have it like this, but you need to divide it into two to accommodate two species. Use the one in the container like this, okay? So I don't have to demo it, you, you should know, right? Just divide it, and how many? I think you should have enough, 20, right, yeah. Half for, for the sand method, and the other half is for the paper towel, okay? I think there should be um, 20 in here, so maybe 10 for here, and then this 
10 for here, okay? <coughs> and then water it. Use the cling film. Wrap it. Poke a hole. Put a level. And then put aside. And then we're going to see the germination rate. Because out of the 10 seeds that you have sown and wait for germination, sometimes not all will come out. So that will give you the germination uh, capacity of, of the seeds, okay? For the second method, okay, this one you need to pay attention. You might want to come a bit closer. The spring roll method. So I'll just use this um, long bean. What is the Latin name for long bean? Mang bean. Mang bean is the Latin name. Kau nak aku baling ke benda ni? Apa nama Latin untuk kasar panjang? Okay, check, check that. Right, okay, so just put. I think if you just put five is uh, enough for as well. You don't want to cram it too much. Okay. Are you go? Is this anybody? Can I buy a Imagine you are helping your mom. Oh, kau tak pernah tolong pemak kau. Spring roll method. Then you roll it, okay? Place it. The reason you you place it nicely because this once it it germinate, it will produce root. You want to give it a ample room to it. Then just start to roll. Start to roll. Start to roll. And then just like Popia, but Popia used um, egg beat, right? I put it in here. Jangan tak nak minyak panas. Kau kena goreng benda ni. Uh, put it in here. And then use the cling wrap. Cover it. Okay? Do the same. All right. Um, if you have extra, you can create the second uh, spring roll. All right? Okay. However, just make sure that this is properly closed, okay? Yeah, I think better this way. If you put it this way, if the seeds come out, it's going to bang against the wall of the tray. Right, so put it that way, right? So do that uh, very quickly, wrap it, poke some hole, put a level, put it aside. Is that clear? Yes. Is that clear? Oh, by the way, put some water in here. I suggest you, before you do this, you wash your hand uh, first because your hand got fungus. This The fungus can stick to this uh, spring roll. After you cover it one week, you don't get germinated bean. You get tempeh. Right? And then cover it with this. Right? That's all for now. Is that clear? Yeah. Is that clear? Okay. Finish this in 20 minutes as well, and then go back to your seat. Do it, do it, do it. Fucking <laughs> good. You can use the tap water, okay? But what happened? I'm <laughs> For whatever you do in a group, assign someone to take picture along the way. 
I could see that some group didn't even take picture while you are doing the cutting for the tetrazolum test. You need that for your report. You are in your group. Send someone to take picture to have content for your report. I mean, I mean, I mean, I Nanti, can you find it on internet yang ada PDF version or image version Then send dalam sini Atau perletak dalam folder uh, class Yang ini dengan ini And and just promise Sit dengan not and just promise Ini macam kalau nak ambil gambar nanti berkilau-kilau Kan? Itu kan dah jadual Find PDF or image please Did you bring the pin? Did you bring the pin to Anna? Huh? Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you can you find image for today? Then send along group so that we can have the cross section of the B and also the corn. So I'm going to do embryo.
Are you done? Are you done? Almost? The group that are done, you can come back. No, no, you can bring your seats three from last week, bring to your bench. Let's have a look. Finish, finish your germination first then go outside bring your group three to your bench Okay, that's good. Do you have something like this, but for bean? Uh, can you find it? That, that looks good. Am I just a plain hungry? Aku nampak ni macam daging steak. Why ah? Tapi aku tak kat nivo. Can you ask Hermi, ada tak MPK Green? Dia dah sediakan belum? Oh. MPK Green Ada tak? Tak apa lah. 
stretch. 40 kilo, no, no, 50 kilo N per ton. Per, per, per hectare. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, please please finish everything in five minutes, okay? I can see some group are done. Please finish in five minutes so that we can um, have the explanation of what you just did. Okay, for those who are done, you can come to the front and take the picture of this, okay? 50 kg, right? 50 kg. 50 or 100. Let's see how many grams first. 50. Take this, take this. Yeah. So after you've taken the image, can someone post on the Skype for each seat chart? <laughs> Can someone tell me how many minutes left for the oven incubation? 47, okay. Right, right. Okay, we're done. Go back to your seat. Let's have some explanation. Are you cutting permanent? Ida! 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 Okay, this group, you can come here for a bit, okay? Just just sit on the other side. You, you go back to your bench when you are doing your practical. Okay. 
Uh, tapi aku guna ni dulu. Tapi kalau pada mas, guna itu kan. Kau tak ada alkohol ke? Guna je lah alkohol nanti, tak apa Hari ni tak guna lagi, kau ada alkohol je Kita bawah kau alkohol Okay, so let's see what you just did We got two activities today Any idea what you just did? No idea just just follow instruction blindly okay so the first activity it's called tetrazoleum test it is a I'll call it this tetrazoleum test it's a rapid test rapid test for seed viability Okay. We can know whether the seeds are alive or otherwise if you just simply germinate it normal way. But that would take a very long time. For the seed industry, especially when you're dealing with, you know, warehouse upon warehouse the seeds, tons of seeds. People do not have time to, 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 to wait until one or two weeks just to, to see whether the seeds are germinating or not. So rapid testing or rapid assay, that's another way to say it. <sighs> rapid assay will be very beneficial so that the seeds lot can be accepted or discarded accordingly. Right, so the concept of tetrazoleum test, tetrazoleum test is actually a salt. Uh, it's, it's a chemical compound. Um, what's the full name? Do I remember it? Two, three, five, tri, phenyl, tetrazoleum. That's a very long name. Okay, so this thing. <coughs> If you look at your sky, uh, I think it has been posted about the um, mechanism. How does it work? That would be, which is not, it's not turning. Oops. This image here. Okay, is it true? To try to try to try chloride. Chloride, I forgot the chloride word. Chloride. Okay. So this thing can actually be reduced. When I, when I say a compound is reduced, do you understand what's happening to it chemically? Reduce. What happened to it? In chemistry, when something is reduced, meaning that this thing has gained electron, okay? In the, usually in the form of hydrogen, okay? Hydrogen ion attached to a compound. That compound is now called reduced, diturunten. The opposite for this is oxidized. In the term of oxidized, it loses electron, okay? Usually in the form of hydrogen as well. So this one gone. So this thing plus one in the form of charge. This thing is minus one in the form of charge. Okay. Together, this is what you call as the redox reaction. Remember? Have you seen that word before? Reduction oxidation reaction. Redox reaction. To remember this, is a, there is a small formula that you can use to ID whether which one is gaining which one is losing electron it's called oil rig do you know oil rig you know oil, oil rig what's the MLA oil rig what 
Everybody know what is oil rig? Gerudi minyak. If you go to the petroleum platform, um, usually it's, it's, it's far in the, in the sea area. There's a platform, right? And then there is a big structure going into the ground to, to, to bore the ground. That is called the rig, Gerudi. So, oil rig. Oxidation is losing electron. Reduction is gaining <coughs> electron. Okay? Please remember that. Right. So, in the case of tetrazoleum, tetrazoleum, the moment it is in the solution form, it's in the solution, right? You use the solution. So, in the solution form, you need to put it in, in your method, okay? So, Mr. Helmi, he prepared 5 gram in 1 liter of water. 5 gram of what? Tetrazoleum chloride salt. This thing in the form of salt. So, I want to see in your report, you report this in the form of weight by volume. Okay? What is it? You need to do a small calculation, huh? right? Okay, so tetrazoleum, the moment it's in the solution form, it can be reduced. How? How can extra electron come to it? By the action of enzyme, biochemical enzyme. That enzyme is called dehydrogenase. Okay, so dehydrogenase, meaning that this particular enzyme, D, D means discard, remove. Remove what? Hydrogen. A, S, E means it is a protein or enzyme. So it is an enzyme or protein that whose work is to remove hydrogen. Okay, it removes from, from, from who? From Pyruvate. Pyruvate, okay? Sorry. Pyru. Ah, pyru. Pyruvate. Right. So I have given you uh, something in here. Have you learned glycolysis before? Cellular respiration. So there are many steps in cellular respiration. So in one of the steps, if you can see here, from the glucose, all the way until you got your ATP. Somewhere in the middle here, there is a conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. Yeah. So, look at the word. So, the oxidation here. Pyruvate oxidation. Meaning that pyruvate gaining or losing electron? Pyruvate oxidation. Gaining or losing electron? Losing. Yeah. So, in the glycolysis or respiration, when pyruvate loses electron, who removes the electron? In the... Baru cakap kan, electron tu in the form of hydrogen. So, dehydrogenase enzyme remove the electron from pyruvate and that electron has to go somewhere. Where does it go? To the tetrazoleum solution that you put into the seeds. Right. So, this will cause the tetrazoleum to become a new reduced form. It's called formazan. Okay. So, tetrazoleum, the col it got no color. Colorless. Formazan, the color is red. So if you think about it, only living seeds can undergo this cellular respiration or glycolysis reaction. If it is not alive, it doesn't have all this pyruvate thing. Okay? Because, well, it's, not, it's, it's dead. Dead things do not respire. Only living things that are respire. Are you respiring? Yes. What's the evidence? 
Ya aku bisi-bisi yang degil semua tu lah. Right. So, pyruvate give up the electron for the tetrazoleum. Now, the tetrazoleum become reduced to turn into formazan. And this can be, detect be detected on the staining pattern on the set. What's the other one? Yeah. Okay, now comes the second part of it, which is how to interpret the formazan staining on the cut seed. It's red, okay, because formazan, that's the color, right? Okay, so how do you interpret it? I'll just use two color here because formazan is red. So if you look at your seeds, you got two seeds. What are the seeds you have? So you have your, um, bean, and you have your horn. Okay. Number one, you need to understand the anatomy or the structure of your seeds. The moment you cut it, you need to be able to know where is the location of two things. What are they? Endosperm and embryo. You need to know that. And also the cotyledon. Right. For the bean, usually it's on one side here. Usually the big side here, this is the cotyledon. That's the, the biggest part of it. At one corner, you will have this thing, the embryo. This embryo, embryo usually in the form of um, plimio and radical meristem. Meristem means uh, the basic or rudimentary tissue. Okay, so meaning that when you can ID this, this is the location that needs to have the formazan coloring. Okay, you you don't need the cotyledon to be full of color because if the food reserve is alive doing all the respiration but the embryo is dead nothing much gonna happen okay imagine you got your grandma in the coffin you put kfc next to her is is that a, a life or non a life system if she alive what happened to the kfc <laughs> Right. That's mine. Right. So that's for the bean. For the corn, ha, huh, where is the embryo and radical? And, and oh, sorry, em embryo and the cotyledon. Cotyledon in corn, what do you call it? Remember, it has got a different name now? In the bean, is dicot or monocot? Eh, baru belajar tak sampai seminggu. Dicot. Corn is? Monocot. In dicot, the baby leaf is called cotyledon. In corn, the baby leaf is called what? I told you the other day on 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 uh, Monday. It's a Latin means shield. What is it? Scutellum. Scutellum. Okay. In grass, in monocot seeds, we don't call it cotyledon. We call it scutellum. Okay. And it has one big endosperm. This is the endosperm. Yeah. In monocot, it has endosperm. In the dicot, it hasn't got endosperm. It's, it got what, what now? Cotyledon. Remember, that is the difference between the two seeds. Now, right. Okay. So, this is the part that you are interested with. The scutellum because right in the middle of scutellum, you got your embryonic tissue. Embryonic tissue, which is this plumule and radical meristem tissue right in here. So, 
with this information in your head now, you can be able to interpret the coloring pattern. Look at this. We'll take this one, for example, first. There are 15 staining pattern possible for the tetrazolin test for the bin um, cutting. Okay, you can see that based on this, only number one until number six staining pattern is regarded as germinable. Germinable meaning that it's alive and viable. Okay, why is it? Look at best over here. Meaning that this area needs to be colored. Look at number one. Is it colored? The embryo part? Is it colored? Is it colored? Number four? Number five? Number six? Number seven now. Is it germinable or non germinable? Why is it non germinable? What does it say? More than extremity of radical unstained, meaning that the, the difference between number six and number seven is number six, there's only a tiny bit of radical tape is unstained, which is forgivable, meaning that the, the seed is still viable, maybe not vigor. Okay, it is alive, but it's just weak. However, number seven, already unforgivable. That's already too much, right? And number eight is further non-existing staining. The moment this is not stained, meaning that the formazan is not present. Why formazan is not present? Because dehydrogenase is not around. Why dehydrogenase is not around? Because the pyruvate is not around. Pyruvate is not around, meaning that there is no respiration taking place. It's as simple as that. You see how it is connected? All right, okay. So the rest of it is non-germinable or non-viable, all right? Another thing uh, that you need to remember, if the staining is too red, deep red, it's also not good because it means there is a leakage of tissue, meaning that dehydrogenase from the cotyledon, cotyledon got dehydrogenase as well, has leaked and spilled into the other parts. So it becomes too red, meaning that the formazan, you don't need it to be like too red. Like, like just, just a slight reddish, okay? Deep red is an indication of leaking tissue, which is not good because all the content of the pyruvate, all the metabolites content, it's not intact. They are roaming about in the tissue, right? Spilling. Right, okay, so let's look at uh, the other pattern, which is corn. So where's the embryo? On this side, right? Right at the bottom. So it should be on this side. So based on this pattern, number one until number six as well is germinable. It's regarded as germinable. So meaning that this side here, right at the corner here, must be stained. It just this side here. Whatever it is, this side, which is the embryonic side, must be stained. And this one as well. Okay. All right. So look at number one. Embryo stain? Number two? Number three? Number four? Number five, number six, look at number seven. See, this part is not stained. So this is, has the potential not going to germinate very well, right? And the rest of the pattern, right? It doesn't matter if it's red or it's red. You got it, but it's red. It's a small white pattern here. The embryo is dead. So it doesn't matter if you have lots of food reserve. It's pointless. You can put on your grandma in coffin. On the right, you got put MACD. On the side, you put Happy Meal. Nothing gonna happen. She's not going to wake up and do something about it. Yeah. 
Okay, unless if you put money, something might happen. Look at number, um, let's see, number 13. Look at number 13. This thing is stained. The embryo is stained. But what happened to the rest of the seed? Is it stained or unstained? Unstained. Unstained. So what does it mean? Number 13. Meaning that the embryo is alive, but the other part of the seed, the food reserve, is non-viable. Meaning that the seeds, the seeds, the seeds are alive, but no food available for it. Right. Now your grandma has awakened, but you have locked the coffin. Too bad. And you have removed the happy meal earlier. And quickly bury underground. End of story. Right. She is screaming and about a life right. But is there any food? Any food? So what's gonna happen very soon? A compost. Right, okay? Okay. Right. So for the Tetrazolin, that is all there is to you know. The basic of it. Okay. Any question? All good? Anybody unclear? Please remember this, okay? This is going to be very useful. I mean, the concept of rapid assay is very, is very, very useful test, okay? Even though you're going to deal with a different system, different chemicals, different tissue, but the concept is the same. This is only one. There are many thousands of uh, biochemical tests uh, present, right? Okay. I thought, yeah. For, for which bean? Which seed? Uh, corn. corn. Okay. So num num number six, num num number six and number seven. Number six is germinable because this is embryo, which is alive, and then scutellum is also alive. Scutellum is also a food reserve. But number seven, the embryo is not alive at all. To the most side. However, for number seven, the scutellum is alive. Difference, meaning? <clears throat> this is what we call as a schematic diagram representation. Okay? At your level now, because you have not seen one million seeds, because you're not Umarani. If you are Umarani, you have said you have seen five million seeds. Okay, Umarani, you can give her whatever, and she can know right away. All right, but that's the basic of it. But to start with interpretation skill, this is the basic, and because you are dealing with nature, there are always exception and. Um, what do you call it? Um, special caveats, you know, warning caveats. You know what caveats? Caveat. It's like a warning. If one thing happened, this thing is not true. So it's more dynamic and it's more complicated, actually, in nature. But for the generalization, this diagram is what is usually at the beginning okay imagine if you are working with coco dimmer how are you going to do that first you have to break the coconut all right you break the coconut because you you need to use a brute force you break the embryo right yeah so not to worry if you see that oh there is no different how how to know this Get the idea first. I'm very sure the moment you bring the incubation uh, materials out of the oven, you will see that why my pattern is non-existent on the chart. What happened to me? Well, first it's you. That's 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 why you know Pak Buruk. The right the right way actually to do this. Actually, you need to. There is a special method to do that. You need to embed the seed in a like a jelly stuff, and then you do a thin section like a slice 
and then you put it under microscope and do the observation and then microscope you can control the contrast so you can see the white color and the red color separately very clear yeah so that's that's a very good way to do it but at your level just know this concept and how to do it All right okay if you're interested with the seeds and then you can uh, maybe do FYP with Rubarani uh, she will make you see 10 million seeds like her right yeah you'll see all the seeds in the world all right okay good is that clear is that clear 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 okay right next to the what is it how many minutes left for your incubation 20 we can finish this we can finish it okay for this same media um i think nothing much further should be explained because we just need to see the germination percentage which is this gp seeds germinated over total seeds time 100 that's all to it okay so based on your first activity you decide the seed lot that you are dealing now is it germinable most of it is it germinable or not really germinable, germinable or what and then see the germination percentage from the second activity is it relatable or not based on the tetrazolium you see that huh most of it actually germinable because of the color staining that you obtain however when you do the scent testing and also the spring roll testing you only got the germination percentage about 70 percent that is the point of discussion what's happening because your tetrazolin test is not in line with your germination test remember you need to do your report and your report when there is a conflict or discrepancy it is a point of discussion discuss it maybe your seeds are viable but it's not vigor remember there's another characteristic vigor vigor okay maybe 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 at night um somebody come and do something you'll see i don't know yeah how many of you 30 28 actually don't like you right the number 29 kind of in the middle like not like like not to like all right okay yeah all right okay i think just leave it and just check for the moisture content all right make sure that it is moist and next week when you come Oh, by the way, next week, uh, on Monday, your class, don't go to the uh, lecture room, the Kulia, Bilik Kulia. Come here, okay? Come here because we only do the lecture for one hour and then immediately after that for half an hour, we'll, we need to prep for the next week experiment, which is the seed moisture. Okay, so come here straight. Don't go there. Nobody will be there. All right. Okay. So that's all. So let's look at your um, germinated, germinated seeds. Okay, I hope you are in your group. Let's see. I'll go to one group. You can go to your group. Be prepared. What group is this? Tell me what happened. Um, other group, can you bring all your spray here so that we I can go in, in, in one go? Bring bring your trays over here. For 50 kilo, mm -hmm. 2.67 gram. Then we use 100 kilos. 100 is 100 gram. 5.33 gram. Yep. Okay. Kenapa kilo? Pati suruh jom kilo kan? Tak apa at least we can double check. Okay. You need to double check you as well. Sebab kau kan mabuk. This is what group is this? Yes. What? Uh? Helianthus. Helianthus. The people the Helianthus. So, how, how many percentage germinated? How many you put? How many came out? One, two, three, four. One session. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so that's only three at least you got the minimum which is good because for the for the sake of statistic we need a three minimum so this is the first week second week i think we can we can start harvesting start next week 
Okay. What about the group? Bring here. Bring over here. Bring over here. No need to cover with this. What happened? Only two. So what? What's going to happen? Okay. Here's the thing. Uh, put it. Put it here. The moment you harvest, because you are going to harvest this for two weeks, two consecutive weeks. So for the for the first week, you need to use this and a bit of this, because it's going to be destructive. And then the coming week, use this and the balance whatever you have. All right, the minimum of three, or better yet, just count how many you got. For example, you got what? How many? How many germinated? Count. How many? So that's right. So maybe you want to harvest for the first week six. Six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then the second week after it's gotten bigger, another six. Then you're good to go. Okay. Ni kenapa tak keluar apa? Why? What happened? Lemas. Lemas? Yes. Ko bawa dia ke morip. Pas kita orang ke dalaman dalam gila. Ke dalaman? Apa benda? Apa benda? Benda-benda je. Kita buat dalam. Dalam dalam. So? Itu letak sebab Dalam satu kilometer? <laughs> ada hanya tiga je yang sprout. Okay. So kenapa dia orang elok je? Itu lah tu. Pasal kita orang ada tiga kilometer atas, kita tukar. Tukar apa? We do MC. Macam mana student, student fakulti pertanian? Bercambah biji benih pun tak lepas. Ah, mana tu? So when did you repeat this? Monday. Alright. This as well. Yes. Lemas as well. Yes. If it happens again, can I lemas you? Asal ni buat elok je. Memanglah semua. We don't expect everything to germinate. That's why we have like uh, 30 seeds. A uh, lot. Okay. That one. Bring it. Kenapa? So kenapa dia elok aja? Don't 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 you think this is something to do with the way you manage things? Did you come to check regularly every day? Yes. Tapi lemas juga. So why? Why? There are so many of you. If you need to check it once a day, do it. There are so many of you in one group. You got six of you in one group, right? Six of you. That kind of six in a game. So then which one is it? Two. That's it doesn't <laughs> Is this a new seat lot or old seat lot? I think you need to have a new set like this. Okay? You need to have a new seat like this. Um, yeah. This is a sign of the seed is already dead. See? Dia jadi macam balloon. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. So, please repeat and take good care of your seed. I already said, this is going to be your mark. No seedlings. Means what? Uh-huh. Uh, how many zero you want? How many zero? How many zero? Okay. Yes, that's already germinating. Okay. So, please repeat and take good care of your seeds. Okay. They don't have extra to give charity to you. You have to do it yourself. Whatever it takes to germinate. Uh, um, discipline. Okay. For the group that have um, germinated, you need to put fertilizer because this is C4 plants. It's, it grows super fast. Um, hey, where are um, Baja? Yeah. Like that. So, you need to put this now. The rate is... The rate is 
um, 100 kilogram of nitrogen per hectare. How do you want to apply it now to here? Okay, okay. Because I want to save time now, it should be about 5.33 gram. However, I need to see the calculation how you get this 5.33 gram per tray in your report. Okay? So, yeah. You need to convert it. Yes, you need to convert it. So, you, the way you apply it, this group, you need to do it as well, but you need to do it next week. Okay? There's no point to put it now. There's no plan. If I were you, I would put like so many seeds here. No. More than 30. Because some of you are unfortunate. <laughs> okay. So, weighing machine is over there. We've got two weighing scales. Measure about 5.3 kilograms. Let's say that this is 5.3 kilograms. Right. Um, I don't know how much. Yeah, let's say that that's that's that much of it. So put a regular spacing in between here. Don't put right next to, to the plant. Don't do that. Put it one hole here, one hole here, one hole here, one hole here. Or you can put put it any hole here. Just a small bit into it, and then cover it back. The fertilizer. Even deep, deeper, even better. Okay? Why? Why you, you, you cover it in a pocket like this? For root. Is it for? Okay. Root absorbing. Is there anything, any else? Any reason? This thing contains nitrogen, MPK. The rate is 15, 15, 15 MPK. The one thing about nitrogen is it's volatile. If you just leave it on the surface like this, and then you do the watering, the nitrogen is going to get released back to the air. The plant is not absorbing it because it's volatile. That's why you create a pocket like this and then you cover it so that the moment it dissolves, the nitrogen is absorbed by the plant rather than get released to the air. And it is one of the good agricultural practice even in plantation now. All right? Okay? All right. So for these two groups, you can do it. Make sure you know how to calculate it because I want to see. The other group, you, you can increase, use the seed, whatever you have. <laughs> Alright, please do it. Quickly. The, the weighing scale is over there. About 5.3 grams. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. So, yang mana tak germinate lagi tu, aku suruh dia orang repeat, tambahkan lagi sikit, tak start kat tepi tu. Um, kalau tak jadi juga minggu depan, hmm, aku kena fikir hukuman yang kreatif. <laughs> kan? I'm very kreatif. <laughs> What time now? Now it's about... Okay. Uh, somebody tell me how many minutes left for your incubation? How many minutes left? Seven, okay. When it's done, bring it out. I'll show you what to do with it. In the meantime, fertilize your tree or germinate some more for those who are not in the success. Your physio. Do you explain to the name? Are they pencil? 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 Are all right, okay. We need to live by 10 to 30. 
How long does it take to go there? Half an hour, right? Ten tak jam? Eleven. Tu sekarang orang nak keluar je lunch. Um. Semalam? Eh, semalam. Semalam kan? Monday, Monday. Tak apa, kalau salah kita pergi je balik dekat di ada kedai. Okay. Nak hantar Kak Ali? Suruh quick check. Why not call? Tanya. Boleh tak? Kata Kak Ali uh, untuk drop, drop dan boleh tak dapat balik next morning? Just a quick check. Just a quick check. To see what what's, what's going on. I'm very careful, okay? Right. And then do the second leaf for the seeds of Eh, mana cabut? Bukan dalam, dalam menu, kita suruh buang. Tegil. Kiri kanan. Is this kiri kanan? I think this is the kiri kanan. Oh, just assume this is the left and right. David, please be very gentle. We don't want to break it apart. Right, okay. Then you can move it to the this side because I want you to take a decent image. If it helps, you can remove the testa or the seed coating. This thing. You can remove it. Right. Okay, put it aside, put it aside here. Maybe you want to work one, one by one, it's fine. Can I borrow a ruler? Yes. Ruler, please. Okay, when you take your image, I want you to put a ruler so that you can have a scale letter. Camera. So take the image. No shadow. Make it space apart because we need to label. Dekat lagi, dekat lagi. Dekat. Ada shadow. Ada shadow. Dia besar. Di sana. Sekejap. Dia tengah lah. Telefon dia mahal. <laughs> Okay. Apa tak? This is See? You can ID it. So take a good, super good image. You've got six persons in your group. Who's got the most expensive phone? Use it. Okay. So, and then do the same for um, the corn. So, same kind? Corn do? For the corn as well? Engkau lah. Buang lah benda ni dah ni. Bayangkan mother-in-law saya suruh kau buat karipak depan dia. <laughs> kan? Tak jadi karipak kau sendiri dodol benda tu. Is that the right orientation? Sama ke? Kan macam ni pairing. Teketak, ketak, teketak, ketak. Okay, this is English. Then send to the sky. Okay. okay. You can have all the seats in one go if you have if you do more than one pair. Alright? Okay, look, listen. Can you ID the green part? The green, the yellow part, the white part? Yes. Then that's good. Alright? Okay. So, dab it and take the images. Okay, can you do that? Yeah. All right, okay, do that. Oh, sorry, bukan phone ni. Sorry, sorry. Do that, do that. Remove the moisture using the, the, the paper towel.
Mana yang kau punya? Buat lah Use it in one go Because uh, you do a different construction plan, right? Yep So, tadi aku nampak colour dia cantik lah Yang tu uh, Maksudnya method tu memang kita naikkan sikit suhu jadi suhu badan Lima gram per satu liter kan? Ah, lima gram. Okay, kita dah pergi. Mati Mungkin oh, Mungkin I should Tetrazole and test on you Especially on the brain part <laughs> Kau sebab tu ramai budak-budak ni bercambah tak punya. Yang yang edit bercambah tu pun dia buat 30. Tapi yang tu macam 18. Sebab ini pun macam tak ni kau. Apa sih 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 si, si. kau ni memang tak bernyawa sangat aku. Maksudnya sebab tu ada yang tak keluar yang minggu lepas tu. Ha. Sebab tetrazolan ni pun dia macam tak Kata dia banyak putih uh. Tengok kacang, kacang merah semua Jagung tu Haa, uh, jagung tu Kadang-kadang kan kita memang beli baru beli uh. Tapi seed tu dia dah Seed lot lama uh. Maksudnya dia dah dekat kedai 6 bulan macam tu Dan dia dia pula tak simpan dalam Peti Dia letak dekat rak kedai dia lah jadi nyawa dia pun laju lah Tengok tu kan Dia bila kita tak letak dalam peti, peti, peti ais dia memang ni eh, Dia cepat, dia cepat, dia, dia cepat apa ni uh, Kurang dia punya bernas tu Siapa nak ada peti ais ni tiba kat kedai jual benih kan Kau tahu hal pula nak buka peti ais bukan kau jual apa sausage Haa uh, Yang baru ni kan, yang lama tu saya jenis Mungkin si lot lama, lepas tu dia tak kat luar kan Tapi ni Kau baru beli Tapi dia tu Tak apa tengok dekat seat punya Best tu Bukan dia sebenarnya maksudnya nyawa dia mungkin lah Lama ke tak ke Untuk belajar tak apa Kalau untuk plantation ni This is not good dia jadi pencambahan tak sekata Jadi jenis nak menyulam Bertambah lah kos pekerja Nak menyulam benda tu Dia tak sekata lah Ada dia keluar lambat Ada keluar cepat Eh orang tak ada orang Buat ladang jagung 5 hektar Benda semua tu Kalau tak sekata Oh jenis lah Nak menyulam benda tu Kalau tak sekata Ini tak apa Ini, ini untuk, untuk belajar tak apa <laughs> okay, after you have done it, use the chart just now and then try to ID which numbering correspond to your own pattern. Is it number 1? Is it number 10? Is it number 7? Is it number 137? <laughs> Jadi, 
Eh, kau yuran ya lah. Siapa yang makan lagi lah? So grup ni buat cerita soalan ni lah. Ibu pernah. Tak pasti. Saya tak tanya. Kalau macam cerita, dia baru buat Oh, habis Habis lah, habis lah Benda-benda dapat report lah Kau nak tunggu apa lagi Tak apalah, kalau kau boleh Bebas sikit, maksudnya tak payah nak Bergantung sebab kalau botan ni kan kita kena ikut Kan, sebab nak cari sampel benda semua Yang ini sebab barang pun boleh asing sendiri Tak apalah Tak apa nak bagi yang cepat, supaya budak ni Habis awal, dia boleh nak ulang kaji ataupun nak buat assignment untuk kerima. Ah, ah. Kan, kau pun boleh berehat dari ujung-ujung ah, tu, tak payah sangat. <laughs> kan, aku pun lebih lebih tenang di hidup semester. Jadi? Tak jadi? Tak, tak jadi pun. It's a result. It's a result. Negative result is result. Ambil gambar elok-elok sebab nanti nak belajar guna image je. Take a decent image. So, minggu depan tolong projector lah. Ya, boleh tu. Haa. Yes, set yang long term uh, dry oh. Tapi suhu dia rendah kan sikit Pembaris <laughs> Eh, check, check my pencil case Aku juga yang kena bawa Sorry, sorry. Memang ada sebab aku punya. Wei, ni nak wotan dan nak orang. <laughs> Please take a decent image. So the image itu memang definitely. Oh my god. How is this group? Are you okay? Decent image? Lighting? Tak pergi lah sana. Engkau ada kaki. Yang tak ada kaki benih tu. Kenapa dia tepi tingkap? Tak ada tingkap tu. Pergi taman tu. Apa? Dia tindas dekat tu. Kita topak yang tadi kurang. Yang dua je ni. Buat je. Macam mana yang kau nak buat? Because the kaka deal the kaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalau gambar macam ni okay. Okay, okay lah tu. Ia bergelap macam ni. Ke air tu. Lighting. Lighting. Blame the sunlight. Blame the sunlight. Kalau dah rasa gelap, cari lah matahari. Takkan matahari tu nak datang dekat engkau. <laughs> tu, pergi tengah taman tu. Pintu ada, tingkap ada, keluar. Okay, um, can you go, come back to your bench? Um, because I need to leave very soon. I need to tell you one one thing for your leaf area experiment last week. Okay.
So, <clears throat> can somebody rub this, please? Rub, rub the board. Take the image, then when you go back to your home, your college, then ID the pattern number. Okay, listen up, okay? This only, only take ten, 10 minutes and then uh, we can dismiss. Right, so you already got the data for the area using two methods last week, correct? What methods were there? What methods you used to determine leaf area last week? Graph paper method. And the other one? Leaf area meter, right. Okay, so have you filled out everything in the table? Where you filled it out? Where you filled it out? In here? I want everything to be filled out in Excel, all right? So I'm going to assign a group to create Excel that acts as a centralized data collection. Okay, so in, in the Excel, I hope you know what Excel is. So you will have tab at the bottom, right? Yeah. yeah. So each tab for your group. Okay. So what group do we have? We have Barbosa, we have mitochondria, we have what? Ban? No? Okay. Which group want to volunteer to create this spreadsheet? Okay. What group are you? Barsa. Okay. Can you... Can your group create a spreadsheet with this title, okay? So this title is meant for leaf area determination. Put it in the folder. There's already a folder in the, in the, in the uh, group, group uh, OneDrive. The folder is called lab materials. So have that and then create the sheet here according to your group name and whatever that you have filled out make it appear on the sheet do it nicely and organized manner all right okay because from the data later you are going to be doing the graph and also the regression analysis okay so do that first so i want to see this uh, next week during the lab session okay all right do you know how to do the regression why not bring your 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 laptop next week okay so that we can learn how to do the regression and if you don't know i can show you how to do the graph as well okay right right okay create everything uh recently is that clear all right, that's all for now, okay? So for your report, <clears throat> please do accordingly. If you have done something and you want me to see right away, show it. If you take longer time to show to me, you want to collect until the end of semester and then you found something wrong, that's already too late, okay? 
it's very easy to get full mark with lab practical. You just need to make sure everything is okay by showing to me. All right? Okay? Okay. Is this side clear? Yes. Okay. So for the uh, tetrazolium test, go back and ID what kind of pattern that you have. Do you see any pattern? No pattern? Who got no pattern? No pattern. No standing pattern. Don't use red pen to draw something on the seat. Okay. People will know right away. It looks weird. Okay. All right. Okay. So I think that's all for today. So got no question. I'll see you next Monday here. Do not go to the lecture room. Come here. All right. Okay. That's all. See you. Bye.